So this next uh, series is called geometric series. And it's the sum of a uh, multiplicative. So it has a multiplicative pattern. Now it's also going to be different than our other ones. It's going to be an infinite. All right, so the series, the multiplicative one, has a base r to the n power. And here we're going to have a summation n equals 0 to infinity. So if we expand it out, it looks like that. Uh, what it adds up to, however, is 1 over 1 minus r when r is small. And small means absolute value less than 1. What happens if r equals 1? Well, if you just look here, you keep adding up r 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 infinite times, you get infinity. If r is bigger than 1, well, this will be even bigger than adding up a bunch of 1s. And negative, uh, something similar happens. But when r is small, let's think about what happens when r is like 1 half. You get a half, a fourth, an eighth, a sixteenth. You keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller pieces. And it turns out that when r is less than 1, your sum is this number right here. So this is also on, uh, you don't need to memorize this. And we'll do two example problems here. Find the sum. So we'll do k equals 1 to infinity. All right, so unfortunately, we can't just uh, use that formula up top because we don't start at 0, and we don't have a k right here. Uh, our r is that 1 half is small, so absolute value of 1 half is less than 1. So no problem, it'll, uh, it will converge. So that's when r is less than one. When absolute value of r is greater than or equal to one, the series diverges. All right, so we have convergent. So let's fix some of these problems. All right, let's first fix the index. So what I'm going to do, we did this way at the beginning of uh, 9.1, is re-indexing. We're going to shift it down one, so from zero, uh, from one back to zero, because I decreased it by one. I have to increase uh, the value there to compensate. Another way to see this, you just think your uh, your first term over here is going to be k equals one which gives a one half to the one plus one. Over here, your first term, k equals zero, which is one half to the zero plus two. So we get the same number right there as our, as our initial term. So that's good, they match up, we're okay. All right, let's fix our other problem, this silly plus two. How do we get that out of there? Just a little bit of algebra here. So this is one half to the k times one half squared. And remember, base uh, when the bases match, you add the powers, and you of course you can go the other direction. So we split that apart. Now we're going to use constant multiple rule. That one half squared we can move out front. The reason we we have to keep this term here is because it's not constant; it's going to change. So one half squared is one fourth. And now we can use the 1 over 1 minus r. Uh, 
Now, this is an okay answer, but I'm going to clean it up a little bit. So 1 minus a half is a half. So this is the reciprocal of a half, which is 2. So we get 1 half as our uh, sum, uh, the value of this sum. All right, so we just found the first sum. Let's find another sum now. All right, what pattern do we have here? Well, first of all, notice this is infinite. And it better be geometric, so it better be multiplying. It's a little hard to see here, but we can see what to multiply here. It looks like a third. It's actually negative a third because the signs alternate. Hopefully negative one third fits in there, and it does. Multiply by negative one third. All right, no problem. Summation, one third. Now if I start, k at zero, which I can totally do, but it would be incorrect uh, here because that would give me which term? I'd be starting at positive one, which I don't even have. Oh, it's also, I'm gonna separate that negative one out. So that alternating sign part, I'm gonna separate out from that one third. Uh, it'll be correct either way. Actually, I'll put it, I'll include it. So it'll be negative one third. All right, so let's fix this. One thing I can do, let's factor a three out. So let's scrap that, let's factor a three out. So hopefully I did that correctly. So there's three, third, ninth, yeah. It sort of has the effect of shifting everything. And now, this is 30 times summation. This pattern looks a lot nicer. K equals zero to infinity, negative one third to the K. And that should work. I'm just testing zero. When I plug in zero, I get one third of the, negative one third of the zero right here to the first squared cube. So this will work. And I use that one over one minus R now. Be careful, there's two negatives in a row, which means add. So one plus a third is four thirds. And the reciprocal is three fourths. There we go, that is our summation here.